another Sony. You have entered Chad Man Gaming. Welcome to Cherry Man Gaming. What is going on, everybody? This is Chariot Man Gaming, and I'm coming at you with another video. And I know it's been a few days since my last video. You can check that video after this video is over. You can check, you know, check out my next, my, my latest video on Resident Evil Remake. To remake and that's that video man is you know hey I showed my passion in that video on why I will be getting that game and why I'm gonna be doing that what I said I was gonna do but in this video oh my god damn man <laughs> I can't I can't make this up man Sony man where the hell are you man where the hell are you god damn man I can't believe, man, this controversy that's been going around since when Fortnite has arrived on the Nintendo Switch a few weeks ago, about two weeks ago after E3, Fortnite came on the Nintendo Switch, man. There's been a big controversy going around that as soon as the damn game came out with the Nintendo Switch version, you can play with the Steam customers, you can play with the um, iOS it didn't come on Android yet. I know you can play with uh, Apple devices on Mac. You can play Fortnite with them. And you can play with Xbox. You can play with the Xbox people as well. The Xbox One XX with the Nintendo Switch. But you cannot play with Sony's PlayStation 4 slash Pro. God damn, man. What are you doing, Sony? You on top right now. You are leading the console race by a lot. What is so worried? What are you worried about? Don't go the way of Nintendo back in the 90s. Don't go in the way of Microsoft when they began when they began the, the, the last generation with the Xbox One with Don Magnum with Don. When they made their own um, thing, when they wanted to lock in the internet. And that's what destroyed everything. And that's why Microsoft is making all these mistakes you know they're doing all these things now what is y'all doing now sony just because you got the lead you want to start this crap well there's been some crazy articles you know going around and those crazy articles i will go as a another one is sony is blocking fortnite crossplay because of money says the former sony boss so you mean to tell me you're going to block crossplay for money don't get greedy sony man it's supposed to be about your fans you don't block people from having the freedom to play crossplay with the, the rivals of Nintendo so they can have a battle with Xbox and Sony. Don't don't be a damn douchey. Don't be a damn dick. Bruh. And block the um, fan base from playing with Sony on micro on um, Nintendo fans. You have all that information. Somebody for instance having Fortnite, right? And you could be having a hundred kills, you could be having so much you played in that game. You're gonna have to delete everything. It's like deleting everything to start all over again to play on the on on Nintendo Switch or the Xbox One. And Nintendo has exposed because before before Microsoft came out, nothing was happening. But Nintendo's taking a shot at you, Sony. It is it is funny. It's funny to me. Like I can't get over this. Another um thing, article from the Voyage. Sony's issues weak response to its Fortnite crossplay controversy on PlayStation 4 and Switch. Sony says it's interested in fan feedback, but you ain't interested because you don't give a damn. If you was interested in the fan be feedback, you would have immediately, immediately, as soon as the fans started out crying, you would have um, changed your act. Yeah! You would have added um, for, um, cross play chat. Another article from Polygon. Sony's response to Fortnite controversy is embarrassing. Sony does not want to admit it has a Fortnite problem. Yes, it does. It has a Fortnite issue. It has a Fortnite, it's a, it's a travesty. You know, it's an abomination. 
It's terrible. It's awful. It's hideous. And you're gonna do that to the to the fans that is devoted to you. You are, are doing really well with your first party some consoles. There's games that I want to play. You know, God of War and uh, Two Human. You know, it's like. You know, it's a lot of great games. Is this too human? I think I'm, I'll figure out the name, but it's one of those names. Um, there's so many great games. You got Char Uncharted. You're, you're way in ahead of the lead, but you're going to start getting arrogant. If that's when the arrogant, you will fail. You know? Proudness, you're going to fall. Because in this generation, you're doing really well. But that doesn't mean you're going to be like this in every generation. Because now the fans are upset with you. You got to keep continue to keep your fans happy. You cannot do what you're doing. Another article. Fortnite is bad, but Sony refuses to play nice is worse. These articles is ripping you apart. It's not good, man. You know? And it's like it's crazy. And it's like Nintendo is taking and is seizing the opportunity. Remember, that's your arch rival more than even over so over Microsoft. Nintendo's your arch rival. Bitter rivals. Microsoft and Nintendo could be best friends. I don't never really see Microsoft and Nintendo really went at it. They never really actually went at it that much. Because Nintendo's office is, in, is located in Seattle, Washington. Right across the street is Microsoft's office in Seattle, Washington. Right literally across the street. When you take a look at it, it's right next to each other. They could definitely be friends. But Sony, no, they're not loco located in Seattle. You know? Sony, y'all gotta get it right, man. Like, y'all not doing well, man. And Nintendo is mocking you guys. They are freaking, it's shots fired in this video because I didn't want to do it. Here's another part. On the damn Twitter, Nintendo of America says, Hey Xbox, since we can play together in Minecraft now, do you want to build something? This happened on June 21st, 2018. Wow, man, they are really doing it. And Microsoft UK, the UK, um, is giving the claps up like this is crazy they are really going at Sony's throat and they're mocking that goddamn shit that trash off of Sony man I mean goddamn man now before I go into some of the articles you look at here you can see here in these photos you see a girl and you see it you see a girl and you see a boy they both happy together you see her with the Xbox One controller you see him with the um the Joy Cons, the Joy Con grip, and they playing together. You know, you see her, she's playing the Fortnite, she's into it, she's so into it. Then you see another photo with the kid sitting down, as he took it out the dock, and now he's playing Fortnite sitting down. It doesn't matter. Same thing. Nintendo is really ripping the shreds out of you right now. Nintendo is not effing around. That system is a threat. And now you can see closely her controller, an Xbox One controller. Beautiful, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then you see up close again, the Nintendo Switch. As it was taken out the dock, he was playing with it. You know, and then you have here, survive together. Explore together. Create together. You know, they are really ripping you. They are, are, are mocking you, uh, Sony. What are you going to do about that? You know? What are you going to do about that? Then they got Minecraft now available for the Nintendo Switch at retail. You got Microsoft Studios and Nintendo and, and Mojang. But okay, but you know what? I'm going to show you what you're going to do. This is what you're going to do. You're going to freaking come out with a Fortnite bundle. A Fortnite bundle that has Fortnite in the, in the PlayStation 4. So it is about money. You're going to come out with a bundle in response to the fans' outcry of you not bringing cross-play chat to the PlayStation 4 so they can play with their buddies. Some of their friends might be on the place on um, Nintendo Switch. They may, they may not. They may be such a devoted fan to you guys that they don't even buy a Nintendo Switch or Xbox One. They just want to play a Sony Sony system. They probably don't want to buy a Switch. So why don't you? They might have some of their best friends might be Nintendo fans. Maybe they don't want to have a PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, but they want to play on on you know Fortnite together. And y'all can't do it because you. Bastards don't want to freaking do the right thing. Bruh. You know, you got games like freaking Rocket League could play freaking crossplay, and that was a problem before, but Sony refused to listen. You know, now you got Minecraft. Like, what the hell y'all doing, man? Like, why are y'all being so stupid right now? You know? <laughs> 
but you're gonna come out with a response and talk about a goddamn freaking bundle. I'm waiting. A goddamn bundle over playing nice. Also, y'all don't wanna you know. You don't wanna, you will play nice. But, you know, we all have things that we need to do. And in this article from Polygon, listen to what this article has to say. We got a reminder during E3 that the PlayStation 4, unlike most other platforms on Earth, does not support crossplay between consoles. That means that if you have an Xbox One and a, place, a friend of yours has a PlayStation 4, I'm gonna say that again. That means if you have a Xbox One and a goddamn friend of yours have a goddamn PlayStation 4 and you freaking both of y'all both want to play the same goddamn game together, you effing can't. Sony, that's what I was talking about. You effing can't do the damn, you can't play the goddamn game together. Nobody wants to freaking spend money all the damn time to play another system to play together. We live in a different age that, that technology is advancing and you can't freaking play together because of your freaking ego and your ego is running up. Nintendo has faced the same thing and look what happened to them. They have humbled themselves. Here's another article here that I have to say before I continue. Some of the world's biggest games from my, my, um, Fortnite to Minecraft to Rocket League all support a variety of cross-play. Allowing people with PCs, Xbox One, Mobiles, and Nintendo consoles to play on the same service. Yet Sony continues to refuse to allow PlayStation consoles to get in on the fun when it comes to playing with Microsoft and Nintendo consoles. Let Sony, God damn it! Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something, man. You don't freaking you don't freaking change. You better change now because the next generation come. Nintendo's got you by the freaking juggler thing. They got you right here by the juggler thing, man. Microsoft is coming with a new console, and you best believe you better change. And you must change now because don't think, don't you don't even think that things won't happen to you again. You never, man. In PlayStation 3, when you slipped up, you had to fight back. Nintendo has been such a damn douchey, such an asshole back in the 90s to these developed third party developers and they've been in, they've been on top. They 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 paid the price when they were stubborn and now they have to fight back and come back and that's why they went through what they do. Nintendo is humbling themselves big ways. They has humbled themselves. Microsoft has made big mistakes in the beginning of the cycle of the Xbox One when they had to introduce that damn that online restriction thing. That internet restriction when you had to pay for games that you couldn't buy used games. They had a lockage on that and they paid the price. Fans was out crying. They will eat you up. And everybody flocked to Sony PS4 because of that. Microsoft has changed. You know, and Phil Spencer is on target. Nintendo is not playing, man. Reggie fils is going hard, man. The Nintendo Switch, don't you understand where the Switch is at? Nintendo Switch has a major partnership with Nvidia. The Switch can play any third-party games. That's why third parties don't want to play, uh, make their games. It is a threat, all right? Now, when they make another Switch and it makes an even better chip, you can freaking try to copy the Switch all you want, but Nintendo's already got it. They got your ass, you know? Sony, Microsoft is not playing. They got five new studios and they're going hard, you know? They're going extremely hard. They're not playing around. Nintendo, all they have to do is make another Switch and they have an upgraded chip of the NVIDIA and it's going to get better. Oh man, God damn you, Sony. What the hell, you better change now. You better change immediately before it's too late. Change and get that damn cross-play chat for, for the fans. Do it for your fans before it's too late because when the next generation come, they're not happy. The people, fans, and Nintendo have, we already have the weakest problem is the online service. But they're getting slowly started to get more third party support, man. Dragon Ball Z, that looks damn good, all right? Fighter Z looks good. Same game like the PlayStation 4. I'm not even gonna mention Xbox. Same game. But you can take that joint on the go. Starlink, every single game that comes on the Switch, you take it on the go. These third parties, these third parties are doing it for the reason, or the reason why they're doing it. They don't want Nintendo to, to nearly dominate. 
but that's another story. So I'm gonna say once again to Sony, Sony, Computer of America, Computer Entertainment of America, Japan, all over the world, Europe, change. You must change now. Bring crossplay to the masses immediately. Change before it's too late. Before it's too late. You may have the freaking lead now, that doesn't mean when we start the new generation, it's gonna be the same thing. It is not gonna be the same, and I think that sucks for what you're doing. And I'm gonna say, sound off in the comment section and before I say that tell me what your people think about this what you think about this fiasco what Sony is doing let me know in the goddamn comments man let me know what the comments man it's a goddamn shame that Sony's a freaking doing that damn crap man and I want to say sound off in the comment section and tell me what you think about this outcry this outrage and this hideous freaking stupid crap that Sony's doing and don't forget to hit that like button and shit and subscribe to Chariot Man Gaming. And to smash the like button, subscribe button, hit the notifications if you want more videos just like this one that I have you today. Hit the like button, smash it, slam it, slam the dislike button. If you don't like it, you like this video, subscribe it, smash it. And I'm going to say peace and I will be streaming very soon. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, we never know. But I'm going to see what's going on. With every, how this thing goes. But I'm going to say peace and I'm going to see you in the next video.